So today is September 11th, 21. Um, and I think I want to do a small reading to see what comes out for the energy of September 11th, 2001. Um, I actually had a lot going on that year. A lot of a lot of losses I had going on that year. Um, now that I'm like, you know, going back thinking about it. Um, I actually lost one of my cousins that I was like a year older than me. Um, and I looked up to her a lot. I loved her so much. Um, I thought she just was so beautiful so awesome she was kind of like another big sister even though we was a year apart but and i didn't feel like i got to be with her long because um you know some family um you know situations um you know stuff that happened you know it was nothing that um that we can do to have made a different um, but when she came into my, to our, my life, my family life, her sister life, her, her siblings life, um, it was great for, um, I appreciate the time that I did have with her. I wish it was longer. I wish that she was with me today. Cause you know, I know I feel like, I feel like I will be able to still be able to confine in her. Cause I, I try, I talked to her somewhat. I didn't get to talk to her like, you know all the time but when we did talk i felt like i could talk to her about stuff like i remember situations where i talked to her and um you know she was supportive very supportive and i like i definitely need that now and not it's sad that i don't get to have that with her now um we also lost Aaliyah that year 2001 and we also had 9-11, which happened in 2001. So those three different things that I re that I remember going on that exact year, 2001. So 2001 is a very, um, very, very, um, I would say like not influential. It's not influential, but it's something that. A lot happened that year and not that I remember, like I said. So I already was um saging. You know, I like to do that a lot now that you know, I see other people do it. I think that's very it's very comforting doing the saging. I don't know why. But it feels good, so I can't wait till I can get some more. But I just wanted to see if I could do a quick reading and do these cards and see what's come out for tarot. For the energy of 2000 and 2001, September 11th. All right, Spirit of the Highest White Light, Purest White Light, I ask that you come in and guide me, protect me, and show me what you want me to see as I channel and do this reading for September 11th, 2001. Okay. Here are the highest light. Like, what do you want me to see for the energy of 2001, September 11th? I feel like I gotta sneeze. So, the first, when I had the first card come out, was the Ace of Swords in reverse. Then I had two more cards come out. The world came up upright. The two of cups came out in reverse. What else, Spirit, do you want me to see for the energy of September 11th, 2001? Angels, Archangels, what else do you want me to see for the energy? September 11, 2001. 
had three come out, three cards come out. The first one was the strength card. Next we had the three of swords came up upright. And the last one that just came out was the eight of cups. It came out upright. Anything else, Spirit? Anything else that you want me to see for the energy of September 11, 2001? The Knight of Pentacles came out in reverse. What else there are the highest white light feels like like angels are angels for the energy of September 11th, 2001. What else energy you want me to see for that energy of that day, September 11th, 2001? Spirit of the head thing, like pure spirit, like what else you want me to see? So I just had the eight of swords come up in reverse. Anything else, spirit of the highest white light, like pure spirit, like angels are angels. Anything else for the energy of September 11, 2001? Anything else for the last time? Anything else there are the hands that I feel so like angels, archangels. For this energy of September 11, 2001. So we got the Ten of Wands in reverse. We got the Nine of Swords in reverse. At the bottom of the deck, we have the tower, the three of wands, the justice card came upright, these all came up upright, and the queen of wands came upright. So, that's all I'm going to take. Okay. So this is the, all the energy of September 11, 2001.
All right, so. So with me still learning these cards, because some of them I kind of know, and other ones I'm like learning the other ones more. Well, I'm really learning all of it, all of them still. Yeah, because I see like the Ace of Swords, that's intellect. Um, The mind, thoughts, communication, and then like the cups is dealing with emotions, pentacles is dealing with a person, material stuff, um, or material world, money, wands, action. Cups is feelings, emotions relationships okay. All right, so let's see I'm sorry for the pause in between. I'm trying to um find my little my little cheat sheet so I can be able to explain the cards the best. Okay, so we got we got the sword card, the ace of swords that came out first. Which came out in reverse. And that's um I'm talking about um it's explaining that this card means unproductive, irrational making, irrational making the wrong decision and destruction. And that's the Ace of Swords that came out in reverse. So, I feel like with that card coming out, um, it definitely was a lot of destruction that day. Um, as far as it's saying, like... Um, It 
it was I don't it was unproductive I mean because a lot of bad a lot of sadness bad a lot of bad stuff happened because it was it was like a lot of people lost their lives um like when I first seen it happening on the news I was at school I was in class I was like in my first period or my second period class um I think it was um it was called economics because I was like in my my second to last year I don't know was I a senior I know I was in class and we was in class and um um we end up like having a TV on and we was all sitting there everybody was like shocked and like we was scared we was like worried about um we like everybody was wanting to leave and we were just all we, everybody was having a discussion but I think at the same time everybody was shocked that this was going on like this was happening um yeah um so the next card that came out was the world card that came out upright And that talks about fulfillment, harmony, integration, completion, travel, unity. I think this card relates to a lot of um, the, the people that we lost, like, you know, um, in the unity i feel like the world came together as a whole like we was united because every every person had somebody or this affected 9 11 affected a lot of people in a lot of different ways um and a lot of it has not been good because the memories is not good you know that's something that's gonna stick with everybody for if you was there, you was alive, um, you were a part of it, It sticks. that's going to stick with you forever. That's something that you can never be separated from. Because even if with me, I wasn't even there, but I remember it. Like, I remember that day vividly. Especially, like, the whole finding out, being in class, turning on the TV, seeing what was going on you know trying to figure out what was going on what was happening why why this was happening it was just it felt like you was in a movie um it was crazy got the sirens going on in the background right now <sighs> um two of cups came out in reverse And that's talking about arguments, strained relations, not seeing eye to eye, and anguish. That's the two of cups that came out in reverse. Um, um, and I feel like this card came out because, you know... Polit politically, you know, different sides of the, you know, political issues and stuff, excuse me, they have not been seeing eye to eye, even to this day, um, you know, it, it's something that's been taken day by day to, like, get it straightened out to, with United States dealing with other countries and world issues and it's so much to it like and it was like it's crazy because that's where we was at when you know sadly we was in economics class and that's like another part of um that's another part to history like economics and we still got to deal with that today um today excuse me so
like I even remember like elementary school when I was little and back then it was Saddam Hussein but he's passed on now because they don't got him out of here but he was he was like we had I remember we had to do a whole essay and everything on him and dealing with Iraq and the soldiers being there like you know trying to you know protect us and the people over there and Saddam Hussein being in um control and it's been so much that's been going on over the years it's just amazing it's like it's amazing um so like back that day with all you know the political stuff going on cuz that could take a whole freaking week to get it all in depth in that but obviously people wasn't seeing eye to eye and um they're gonna feel like it was a reason for them to do what they did so i feel like this maybe this why that that's why this card came up in reverse as in the same arguments strained relations not seeing eye to eye and anguish the strength card came out next and that came out upright And that talks about strength, courage, compassion, focus, persuasion, influence. We did have a lot of courageous people, firefighters, policemen, uh, regular just people trying to help each other that day. So I definitely feel like a lot of people was courageous and they had a lot of strength. A lot of everybody had compassion for each other because it was so much going on that day it's ridiculous like it's not ridiculous but it just was definitely was overwhelming i'm gonna say that um strength also this also talks about strength is talking about self-love unconditional love self-respect and courage yeah because it was just so much going on that day that's just like it, like i said it felt like a movie Cause you never think something like that's really gonna happen but it 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 did happen and um um that's a day that you can never could you never could forget or not think about or especially if you had loved ones that was like there and um they were trying to help or trying to get out of there or or even now um I know people who probably are still alive or their loved ones are still alive. They they can remember that day like it was yesterday and they just know what part that, not part that they played in it, but what part they was, you know, they was at when, it, you know, everything was happening. And it all, okay. So it also talks about, with the upright, it talks about courage, passion, and vitality. Then I had uh, three of swords that came out, and that came out upright. And that's talking about It's talking about, you know, it's got to do with intellects, like communication. I'm trying to find a thing. Where is it? So, three of swords. 
We're talking about heartbreak, divorce, loss, depression, surgery. So again, it's talking about heartbreak, divorce, loss, depression, surgery. It also talks about heartbreak, loneliness, betrayal, sadness, and grief. So that's the three of swords. And that definitely describes that day. A lot of people was losing their loved ones, their people that they was married to, their kids, their grandparents, their friends. Um... So I know it was a lot of, it still is to this day, a lot of sadness and grief regarding that day because, and I know that the United States felt betrayed um, from, you know who, um, as far as that happening, they felt betrayed. So that's why it's saying betrayal. Then we got the Eight of Cups that came up upright. And that's talking about abandonment, travel, end of relationship, walking away. Um, and I feel like this might have came out because, let's see what else to say, Eight of Cups. Withdraw, retreat, moving on, abandonment. So maybe that has to do with us and um that might be why we have such a strange a strained relationship with um other countries right now that we are constantly to this day um working out issues with them or I guess maybe trying to come to some kind of agreement or um understanding or uh Hmm. some kind of leveled maybe playing like not playing field but I don't want to say that but a level a level a leveledness you know um so that's something that's still going on to this day I don't feel like it's um it's gonna be a while it's definitely gonna be some time before it gets to that um, I can't, I don't really know how long, but it's just, it's definitely going to be, um, it's definitely going to be a long time or a while. So the Knight of Pentacles came out in reverse and that's talking about hard work, will to success. Wait, excuse me. So this came out, the King of the Knight of Pentacles came out in reverse. And that's talking about stupidity, exagger exaggeration, excuse me, and potential dishonesty. So this might be filling in about, this comes out, I think, and it has to do with people like money. So it has to do with money, um, relationships, um, maybe our relationship with you know the people involved and why and why and what this happened and what happened on 9-11 and it you know like I said it's reversed it's saying stupidity exaggeration potential dishonesty and then next came out was the eight of swords that also came out in reverse and that is talking about
It's talking about self-imposed restrictions, isolation, imprisonment. Oh, wait. No, that's not in reverse. So, take, so scratch that. That's not in reverse. <laughs> I might have to cut that part out. So the Eight of Swords is talking about, in reverse, is talking about being productive, finding a way out, taking control, and freedom. So I feel like that's us because we had to find our way out of what happened that day. And that definitely took a long time. Um, being able to, um, the people that was there, um, all the hardworking people, the firefighters, policemen, regular people, being able to find their loved ones. Um, they had to basically, you know, get rid of the whole 9-11, the towers. They took them completely down and um, had to replace them with like a, mem a mem memorial or mem how you say, mem I can't say that word. Uh, basically, yeah, a memorial because they had, you know, they got all the people names that they lost from that day and from the Pentagon. Also, I think they, I don't know if they got a, I think they got a separate memorial for that, for the Pentagon. But I know the, the 9-11 Towers, they got, where they got everybody names and stuff um, of who they lost. So they had to take all of that down and um and the presidents that we don't had, they'd have been working to um you know, deal with that happening and you know like I guess so that something like that doesn't happen again. Cause, you know, that was a very traumatizing day, I feel like for the people who were there, the people who lost loved ones, um, and even the people that was not there but just remembers that day, and you know, and complete, you know, completely or whatever, because um, yeah, I, that's, it just felt so eerie that day. It really did. Then the Ten of Wands came out in reverse. And that's talking about undependable, buckling, under pressure, stress, huge problems. I feel like we, we as United States, we was under, and you know, the president at the time, and everything that was happening that day, they was under a lot of pressure and stress, um, and trying to figure out, cause that was it was huge problems, trying to figure out um why it happened and like trying you know figuring that all out and the people that was involved in of it happening and everything. So um, yeah, and that was um what I get from that. Yeah, the energy was very, very, very negative that day. Um, it wasn't, nothing of that day, the energy was good, so. And then the Nine of Swords came out in reverse. And it's talking about um, Nine of Swords in reverse. It's talking about gaining clarity, learning to cope, letting go of anxiety and optimism. I definitely feel like we had to do that over over the years. And um, anyone and everyone involved from that day, 9-11, obviously would have to gain clarity of why it happened and stuff and learning how to cope with it because like I said that was a very traumatizing day whether you was there like right there at 9-11 in the towers or if you was like watching it on tv 
or if you was like a young child and learning about it later as far as what happened and stuff um and how people lost their lives and what other people was going through who was actually there and trying to get out of the towers so you had to learn everybody had to find some way to, or to learn to cope with that happening that day and so then the tower came out upright and that is talking about um disruption change of life awakening again the tower talks about disrupt dis, uh, disruption change of life and awakening um let's see what else it says for that hmm. it also says unwa unwanted change ruin disgrace up upheaval upheaval violence I definitely feel like this describes 9-11 to to a T for that day like it was definitely unexplainable um, it also describes the tower as intense intense and sudden change release painful loss and tragedy Yep, all of that describes that day because none of it was um, happy or um, something that you wanted to happen. You know, like none, nobody expected that to be happening. Um, it definitely um, caused a lot of change in a lot of in, uh, everyone involved, like I said, whether you was there or not. Um, so, yeah, it definitely caused a lot of um, change, um, unwanted change. Um, sadness and grief and everything because you know a lot of people lost their lives and um, they didn't ask to be a part of that um, they wasn't expecting that you know nobody expected that to happen that day so then the three of wands came up upright <laughs> And that is talking about it's talking about offspring, happiness, and gratitude. It also talks about teamwork, com commerce, expansion, and travel. It also says ex exploration and travel, leadership, moving forward, and happy outcomes. Um... So I feel like because of that, um, a lot of changes were made for traveling on airplanes. Um, to this day, there is more, um, like as far as people getting on planes and they noticing something not right, a lot of people are taking more action to prevent this occurrence of 9-11 happening again um like i said they made the memorial for the people who lost their lives so i feel like that's was a great thing to um memorialize them um everyone involved um they might have even been hired 
things put into place, like as far as laws or anything, I would have to like Google that because I really don't know all of that from like you know right off the top of my head. Um, yeah, that's and I was gonna say, um, it brought a lot of people to it, brought well, not a lot of people, it brought the whole world together basically. Because that's something that we have to come together for every year, 9-11, to reflect back on a day that was a nightmare and um, how so many people lost their life um, and how many, how many, so many people that lended a hand, whether they was in, um, how would they say, how do they call them, um, like an essential worker or um, someone that's working like with the public as far as firefighters and policemen and nurses and doctors and you know so um, even though it's a sad day it's another day that we come and reflect and um, talk about how you have to come together as one to get through and and move on and and figure out that day because it was like like I said it was a horrible day um can never forget that day and um I know it's got to be part of the uh history books now for kids that are going to school it got to be or at least it's talked about you know every year in class because I if I was a teacher I definitely would make that an assignment of some sort somehow to talk about that day because um it's like out of a dream out of like or out of you know like out of a movie it, it it was definitely unexpected definitely definitely unexpected so then you have the justice card that came out and that's talking about cause and effect win win solutions the truth comes out The justice card also talks about fairness, integrity, legal disputes, cause and effect, life lessons. All right, and then um, it also talks about for justice, um, judgment, fairness, and clarity. So it definitely had to be some justice made for um, 9-11, 2001. Because, um, like I said, that was a very um, traumatizing um, day. Um, uh, you know, you're always going to remember that day. If you was old enough, and if you wasn't old enough, you was you was told of that day, you might have seen videos. Um, and um, justice did have to be served because so many people lost their life. Um, it probably is still justice being served because... Um, I don't feel like that was something that could be just solved or fixed or whatever overnight or over a year or two or whatever. I feel like that's taken years to, to get where we are at today. And then the last card that came out was the Queen of Wands. And that came up upright.
so the queen of wands talks about a feisty person confident self-assurance a fiery passion energetic and bubbly self-assured attractive It also talks about pride, femininity, femininity and self-confidence. So I feel like that's the actions of everyone involved. Um, we had to make um, fights and we had to you know, as far as the United States and the presidents and the political sides, Republican and the Democratic, Democratic and the um the side that doesn't have a title or whatever. I don't know the name of that right now, <laughs> but everybody involved had to, you know, do their part to get to where we at today to figure it out. And I know they still figuring it out or putting the pieces together. Um, I think there was, I think there's a documentary, documentary out for 9-11. If not, that's something that they're probably going to be working on. But I believe there is one out already. Um, I haven't got to see it yet. I would like to watch it. Um, there def definitely is a lot of passion because of that day. Um, because so much happened. You know, um, like I said, none of it was um, happy or good memories or that's something that you would take pride in. Um, it, it definitely was none of that from that day. So it's like it was a lot had to be done to, um, to get to some kind of... Um, you know, um, some kind of peace, that's what I'm thinking, like, but, you know, it's not really, it is, but it's not peace, because, I mean, like I said, so many people lost their life, so, it was really sad, um, it was unexplainable, um, yeah, really sad. But I just wanted to do this video and I want to send my condolences to everyone involved or affected by 9-11-2001. I want to send my, um, my prayers and my condolences. I have done that and showed my support over the years. Because, um, like I said, that's a day that I will not forget because I was, you know, I was there. I was in, I was, I was seeing it on TV. I wasn't there. I was seeing it on the TV. So you might, I, you know, I guess I'm feeling like you could feel like you was there because you was watching it on TV and just like you was so much in awe and shock and you just couldn't believe that this was actually happening. Like it wasn't a movie. It was like literally really happening. So I just want to send my condolences to any and everyone involved and anybody that played a part in helping or assisting people to get out of the tower or who attempted to to do that and and you know they end up still losing their life i just want to send my condolences and prayers and um i highly support that day because um that was a life-changing event um and it, it will forever be a life-changing event because a lot took a lot took place that day um that you cannot um you can't get past or you won't forget and um i feel like the cars that came out for the most part it represented um the energy for that day of 9 11 2001 and um i probably will be posting this so if you watch it to the end thank you for watching and i'll try to do more videos um of me reading and learning and trying to interpret it, the cards of what, you know, what I'm getting from the cards and what I think they might mean or whatever. Okay. Thank you. Bye.